identify the condition in the image given below and the image here shows crusting at the corner of the mouth there is some amount of similar feature extending onto the lower part of the jaw skin and difficulty in mouth opening and smaller mouth opening right let's have a look at the options the options are microstomia micrognathia ankyloglossia and chelitis now microstomia small mouth Micrognathia is small jaw. Ankyloglossia means tied tongue. And chelitis or angular chelitis or pearlish refers to the crusting of corner of mouth usually seen in a fungal infection or denture stomatitis. So now ankyloglossia is definitely not the answer because we don't see the tongue in the image anywhere. That leaves us with microstomia and gnathia. Now here the jaw size is similar and proportionate to the rest of the face. It's the mouth opening that is restricted, right? So this is more relevant. But if you see the crusting at the corner of the mouth, you can still confuse with chelitis. Now in chelitis, because of drooping constantly, uh, constant drooping from the corner of the mouth, there could be a fungal infection or that could be because of loss of vertical dimension. But in any case, it is restricted only to the corner of the mouth and not extending to the other part of the face. So this is not a clinical presentation of chelitis. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Microstomia. Now here the patient will have functional deformity and the patient will have difficulty in talking, swallowing, in carrying out normal day-to-day -day activities. So that is the clinical significance of microstomia.